Yes, yes, it's a boy. I was a Nito, and um, yeah, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching this video from and when you're watching this video. So, um, in my last tutorial, I mentioned that I'll be doing a bit of uh, brand identity creation, and so basically, that's what this tutorial is going to be about. And uh, it's a fictional brand, so we'll be creating, we're going to be coming up with the name, we're going to be coming up with the tagline, the color to use because you know there's no clients to like give us brief and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm just going to share with you how I create my fictional brands. And you know, because as, as designers, you do not really need to wait for um, the moment where you get a client to look like create stuff, you can just come up with a fictional brand. And, you know add it to your portfolio so yeah so first off I want to just please share um, a little bit of knowledge excuse me um, let me just take this down slightly all right I want to share a bit of knowledge something everyone already know but you know it's good to just have just a little bit of knowledge now um, we know the difference between brand brand identity, logo, and brand experience. I mean, most people know the, the meaning of logo. Logo is just um, a representation, a visual um, symbol of a particular brand. So, but according to this um, map that I got online, a logo is a graphic element, a symbol made up of text, symbols, and icons. And what does it do? It's, it is used as a form of identification for brand to be recognized. Then, what is brand identity? It's the design system that contains a set of rules determining how to use a logo or how to use um, a brand visual element. And what does it do? It is a means of visual representation, accompanying elements supporting brand recognition. Too much, sorry. <laughs> and what is brand experience? It is just a strategy, a long term plan. For the development of a successful brand and what is brand itself <clears throat> there are several school of thought that explain brand with different kind of definition but the shortest and the most concise definition is a brand is a perception um, people have towards what you do or towards who you are so it's just the gut feeling people have towards your company or towards your product or towards your service so yeah I mean, I don't want to bore us with those um, technologies. <clears throat> I just figured it's essential for us to like, talk a little bit about it. So yeah, that's basically um, that. And I would advise also that if you do not have a solid knowledge on this, you should definitely do um, your own work. You know, go online, search for notes, search for books on brand branding. And also you can ch chat me up. You can send me a mail. I can send you some of my books. Not my books, I mean some of the books I've you know, accumulated over the years on brand and branding. So yeah, now um, this is it. When um, a client comes to me to tell you, oh, I need to create a brand identity, there are certain things you need to ask the person, you know, basic questions you need to ask. I'm not going to, excuse me, I'm not going to like list out those questions because it's, it's dependent on you personally as a designer but um, there are certain specific questions you should ask for example um, what is your brand name do you have <clears throat> do you have certain brand uh, preferences when it comes to color when it comes to typographies you know several other questions like that that, that helps you to understand the mindset of the clients and when you're able to like understand the mindset of the clients it makes your work easier and it makes it makes it very very um, easy to not get so much reviews because i mean when you understand the client definitely you will understand what he or she wants and you know we have less reviews although there are some demonic clients <laughs> That no matter how much you understand them they will still not feel the design so you should run away from those people anyways that's that now before we jump straight into what we want to do today i want to just quickly shed um, light on something first of all it's just a basic um, tutorial on how i create my brand identity so please it's not it's not going to be like a full and a detailed course 
as much as this tutorial is going to be a bit long but it's not going to be a full and detailed course it's just to help you to direct you in things to expect when learning brand identity so yeah that's one and secondly for brand identity i use corel draw and some people use um, adobe illustrator and um, i would advise you not to use photoshop for your brand identity and that's the reason why i said that this photoshop is a raster software why corel draw and adobe illustrator um, they are both vector based software and the difference is raster softwares are softwares that are based on imagery that is they are based on pixels so when you put any image or any stuff when you design anything on photoshop when you zoom in for a while you start seeing pixelated um, you know your image gets pixelated unlike corel draw or illustrator excuse me corel draw illustrator you can design a logo you can create a flyer and you can keep zooming 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 and you know it still retains that quality and that's because it is a vector software and not a raster software so i hope this you know sheds light on why you should not use photoshop for logo creation some use it but i mean it's just an advice personally so yeah that's the difference so i'll be working with corel draw and if you do not understand corel draw and probably you are used to illustrator they are basically almost similar in terms of interface and stuff the idea like i said is to help you know my uh, process of brand identity creation how i come up with fictional brands and stuff like that it's not necessarily to teach you how to use corel draw or how to create logo or no it's just to show you the process um, that is attached to my brand identity process so yeah now that we have that out of the road quickly let me just list out let me just list out the things that we are going to be showing today in our final design or in our final presentation we are going to be showing brand summary we are going to be showing the logo design we are going to be breaking down the logo we are going to be showing the logo in different colors we are going to be showing the brand pattern we are going to be showing the color palette, typography, brand application that is your mock-ups and the likes and visual imagery these are what we are going to be showing at the end of this tutorial so if this resonates with you please take seats relax and get set so now like i said it's a fictional brand so definitely we will need to oh let me just put that back it's a fictional brand so definitely we need to come up with a name right because we have no clients to give us a name so before this tutorial video i already sat down to think about a name you understand but i'm going to show you um a site where you can easily get names for your ideas so we are going to be generating a name we're also going to be generating tagline so let's go straight to uh acro so there's a site called namify excuse me let me just grab that namify.tech slash brand name generator i'm going to attach this link to the video so in case if you are interested now namify what it does is this let's say you have um, an idea for example the idea i have is a gaming a gaming contest brand i have written it down i already have the name so but i just want to show you this process just so you can eventually it's going to help you in the future i don't know so the brand i'm working with is a gaming contest brand and also a brand that does sales of games um gadgets and stuff like that so imagine if i write so before you generate the name it will ask you okay give at least two keywords so let's just write a gaming contest brand right and you would only use this if you are coming if you are creating a fictional brand or if you have a client that does not have any brand in mind and only needs something to adopt so you can always come here and come up with. so you can see it's giving us a list of uh, several names you can choose from play ng contest space contest work brand concept blah 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 there are a lot like a lot you can just pick anyone here 
excuse me so now for this uh tutorial right the name of the brand we are working with because we are doing it together the name of the brand is called the battle cry so let's just note that down the battle cry no the cry you know you know when um, footballers want to play all this uh american football before they play before they you know start the game they always this noise they make and stuff like that or when a soldier goes to war or when soldiers go to war and before they start fighting they start making noise shouting and stuff that's what we call a battle cry so i only i just thought of the name and i was like oh this this sounds cool and uh, you know it's i just i'm going to look for a way to like relate it to gamers coming together you know to face each other in contests and to win you know just like a form of battle where you guys come together you can be an individual gamer or you have a group of gamers coming together to face each other and you know for for a time to or for a price so yeah like i said the name of our brand is the battle cry so you can use namify.tech to always get any kind of brand name you're looking for so now let's look for tagline so we are just going to type, type in tagline generator on google everything like whatever it is you're looking for on google you definitely find it so i need to get a tagline generator or you call it a slogan generator let's just pick this second one um yeah so contest let's just type in the contest So now you can see that I only typed in contest and it has given us 1076 slogans containing contest. So what we want to do now is we are going to look at the slogan that works for us that relates to both um, game and battle cry. So I'm just going to quickly scan through this. Okay, fill the contest. Hmm. Let's just pick fill the contest. So I'm going to write that down. Fill the contest. So the name of the brand we're working with is called the battle cry and the slogan is called feel the contest so i've shown you two websites where you can get both the name generator that's brand name generator and slogan generator using google very very simple now when you have gotten your name you have gotten um you have gotten your name and you have gotten your slogan the next thing you want to do is um, there's what we call um, the mood board, right? So first, let me just create. Let me open a new um, design page. Let's call it the Battle Cry, like we have mentioned. And we're going to be working with a width of 500 and height of 400. Yeah. Now let's make it longer than this. Yeah, exactly. So this is going to be our canvas this is where all the magic will happen so i love using grid so just follow me as i do that so this is where all the magic will happen right let me change this um i prefer it to be darker it's too grayish for my liking all right so yeah this is our canvas, the battle cry, that's the name of the brand. Now, we are going to start with our mood board. Our mood board is a form of inspiration for you to know, to, you know, like, it's going to, we are going to, like, come up with several form of images, um, templates, or designs that relates to the brand uh, markets, like, that relates to a gaming contest brand. And when you combine those elements together, it's, it's, help you to like to inspire you to know the direction to go it doesn't necessarily give you um ideas so to say but it just inspires you to 
to a particular direction. So for our text, we are going to be using um, for our text, we are going to be using this font called Railway. Like our general text, not the logo text, because we've not started designing logo. For our general text, we are going to use a font called Railway. And just because I just, I mean, I just love the fonts. So the mood board is going to be here. And what I'm going to now do is, I'm going to go, first let me save our work. Just save it somewhere. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to go online now to search for images that relate to um, gaming contest. I just have several can open down several um, image sites, you know. Let's go to images. Okay. Okay, this looks cool. This is the kind of imagery we are looking for. So when you are like doing your campaign design, or your ad design you already know the kind of image to go for you know image of people contesting sitting down on chairs and facing their desktop or their laptop you know stuff like that okay like this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just um, pause this video and just get those images I need then get back to you all right all right so yeah we have been able to like get the images we need you know images relating to both the gaming brand images relating to the kind of um, um, logo we are looking for the kind of image we want to use and all those things so basically those are all that are consistent in the um, mood board so these are the images right and I'm just going to drop them one by one. I've been able to like create this um, rectangular shape to like you know just place them just one by one like so. Right, so This, this, this. Okay, I want to use something like this for my logo. So I'm going to save that this as well. Okay. like this this okay so i'm just going to leave all this out right and um okay And so we have this as our mood board, right? For this particular Pixel Game Studio, I love the color, so I would like to probably take a cue from this color. Um, this particular, you know, sword coming together, it's to represent battle, which I would love to definitely use in my logo, and that's why I downloaded it. Um, you know, others represent something that has to do with game, game setup, gaming, and all those things. So yeah, and that's our mood board. Now the next part of my process, of, of my brand identity process, is what I call mind mapping. And what is mind mapping? Mind mapping is just um, a process where you take the name of a brand, you break it down, and then you um, bring out, you pick out visual elements 
you pick out visual elements that um, relate to that brand and use that visual element to create icons or to create your logo in full so um, I'm not going to work on the mind mapping part because my logo is pretty straightforward and simple and so yeah I'm, I'm just going to stick to that so yeah um, let me just quickly explain that again mind mapping is whereby okay let's say for example our brand name is um, the battle cry right and so i'm going to say battle cry now under battle how many um, how many kinds of um, or what are the synonyms that we can get from battle cry or what are those things that relate to battle we are going to listen so for example we are going to draw out battle and we are going to draw out lines and say okay under battle we have a um, sword we have um, soldier we have um, we have sorry for the noise um, on that battle we have sword soldier and anything that relates to battle then on that cry we have like uh, the mic the volume kind of element then you can start picking them one by one so you mix soldier the icon of a soldier with the icon of a mic together mix it in such a way that it makes sense and it can serve as your logo icon or you can pick the sword and you mix it with um, probably the speaker or something it can serve you can mix it in such a way that it can serve as your logo icon now in, it's not all the time you would always do mind mapping right especially when you already have a concept in mind or you already sketched out certain things and you would like to just replicate what you've sketched on your book into Corel Draw or Illustrator so in this situation I'm not going to do any form of mind mapping I just needed to like share that with you so you can understand what mind mapping is all about so let's just jump straight to the next part like I said brand summary so we're going to come down here duplicate so let's just delete this and we're going to write brand summary right and in this brand summary what it's all about is just going to shed light on what the brand is about so we're going to say the battle cry let me just make this bigger like so all right so i'll just pause this as usual as well to we just quickly Alright, so we have um, our summary written down here. I'm just going to make it um, slightly bigger. Let's use 28. Okay. So we can just put this up like this. And I mean, I love um, using black background, so I can just stick to black. And make this white. Why would make this probably a little shade like this? You know, it's all part of your presentation. Your presentation, your design, your design has to look very, very clean and dope, right? So imagine from your mood board, <coughs> you go to our, <coughs> excuse me, you go to our brand um, summary, and it talks about the Battle Cry is a brand that handles gaming contests, battle royales sales of gaming software, hardware, and other game-related gadgets. Located in Lagos, Nigeria, its aim is to bring the world of game and VR to the African slash Nigerian community. Very, very simple. And that's basically all about your brand summary. Then we go straight to our logo design. And so, I'm also going to make this as quick as possible. Like I said, this is not a tutorial for logo design. It's just to show you my brand identity process, but you can also grab one or two things when it comes to designing logo. So I'm going to work with brand, the brand, the battle cry, the brand, the battle cry. So I already sketched out certain, like I already sketched out how I want um, my logo to look like, but before I continue with the logo I need to click get my color palette and you know to do that I'm going to use uh, colors 
that was like my last tutorial i'm going to use colors and i'm going to pick one of this um, image i downloaded and you know use it um, to generate colors for those that have not checked out the video you can check it um, um, in my you know my channel so yeah let's start our generator okay so what i want to do is we'll come down here create palette from or create palette from photo and we are going to locate where our image is i'm going to use i love this my wallpaper so i'm going to use my wallpaper this particular one i love it so you can already see that it's, it has generated the colors and we can reduce it we can increase it depending on what we want so i'm going to just stick to one two three four five i'm going to stick with five it's a gaming it's a gaming brand so i mean it's going to be colorful it's not going to be just um there you know it's going to be colorful so yes i'm going to stick with this i'm going to export the palette as pdf and we can call this the battle cry and we can export right and automatically it gets saved on our um, drive and this is it here you can see this is it here let's just drag it to um, coral draw and you can see this right here and now you just need to do is take your color um, take your eyedropper and select all the colors just like so just select them like so so we have that we can delete it anyways let's go back to our logo design right so for our logo design like i said i want to use this concept and i already sketched out what i want to do so let's just look for a font that works i think we can work with Babes, um papers what was it called? we need a bold font this is bold enough we need a very bold font mm. bold but playful should you work with this? Just look bold but playful. Anyways, I'm not like I said, it's not a tutorial for logo design, so we are just going to stick with what we can. And the idea is to add just follow me as I create it. So I need to create something like this, and I'm going to really do that. Um so we have um control Q to curve. I just want to create a quick sword. Just quick sword. So create a point here. Create another point here. Bring this to the middle. Bring this to the middle. Bring this slightly here. Bring this slightly here. Like so. Then introduce. Now this is not. I mean, I'm not following. Like you can see, I'm not following any form of dimension. I just want to play around this and make it as simple as possible. So I'm going to just blend this together like so. Then introduce the root. Um, the what's it called? Let's make sure this is properly aligned. So let's just bring it to the center as well as this to the center. So I'm going to make the uh, bottom curved. Yeah, and just merge it together like so. So I'm going to stick with this as my sword, right? Very very simple sword. So as you can see, it is you know, it's it is at I think um, 30 degrees. So let's just see if that is 30 degrees. Okay, or 45. 
Perfect. So control C, control C, control V, okay. Then we'll turn this to um 180 plus 30, that's um 210. Oh no. I think we we'll just yeah, turn it like this. Um, you can see that this is not, I mean, it's not the same. We just have to look for a way to properly place it. See, we get what we are looking for. So, like I said, do not mind how rough, how rough my logo design is. I mean, it's this is just a fictional design. Although we could definitely um, do something clean with it, but I'm working with time. So yeah, I'm going to push this forward like this. Okay, now we have this, right? And this is what we're going to use as our icon. Very cool. <laughs> and for the outline, we're going to stick with 10 for our outline. So we are going to have a stream by we use both outline and both the flat image. So let's quickly do save your work, please. Scroll drop, save your work. So it's just like Blender, Corel Draw and Blender, they are like siblings. When you start doing heavy work, start misbehaving. So quickly, we are going to stick with uh, what we call, there is what we call box rule in logo design or in lettering. Um, box rule is when you form like when you use all your letters or your words to form a rectangle or a square okay yeah so quickly let's control k to separate all the text so um p to centralize and as usual if you want to form um your rectangle you have to like make sure your grid are properly placed now, like I said, please, this is not a logo design tutorial. So, if you are not understanding whatever magic I'm performing on Corridor here, the idea is to help you understand the process. You understand? So, if you use Illustrator, you can create whatever I'm creating here in Illustrator. It's very simple. All right? So, yeah, the battle that will bring the cry down here. So, we'll make sure that now. D would be on D, just like so. The battle then cry, and this will be here. Okay, you can see that there's this. All right, in this situation, I I love the design I'm going for, but. It seems like our load or the text itself would not be able to achieve what we want to achieve. So in that situation, I'm going to switch. I'm going to tweak my logo name from the battle cry to let's try the battle squad. It's a, it's a fictional brand, so yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Okay, the battle squad is also too much. What do you want to do? All we can then do is look for let's look for a three letter word or a four letter word. Yeah, let's look for a four letter word that can okay, okay, word. What's the meaning? Let's check the meaning of word on it on Google. <laughs> Quad means um, quadruplet, yeah, I know. Scale lift. Okay, another name, synonyms of. Now, this is not part of what I planned, right? But because our name is not. It's not. Um, the battle crew. Mm -hmm. Crew. Battle gang. Battle gang. <laughs> yeah, gang. So it is a bit Nigerian. -ish. Okay. Alright, so um, like I said, this is just how I do my 
fictional brand design so uh, most times I could just be working on something and it doesn't really look okay and I just switch and just see something else so basically that's how I flow you understand so just bear with me all right so we have this the back to gang um, as simple as that and this is what we are sticking with and close down this And this is what we are sticking with the battle gang now that i look at it i'm thinking that this font is a bit too off so let's look for a better font a bolder font you know what instead of going through all this stress let's just type in bold fonts on google Let's go to um, one over one thousand one. To download fonts, you can get your free fonts at um, one thousand and one, or you can go to that font. So anyone works for you. Hmm. Good times. Let's see, if we have good times. No, we need something over that. We're looking for something bold and you know, yeah. Where are we going to? We have Ubuntu, so we are going to stick with the board. Ubuntu board. All right. No, I'm still not feeling this font. <laughs> Choosing a font can be. A very very taxing very very taxing um, work just bear with me as I choose okay you know what I'm going to just pause this video and also look for a font that I think can work it's what I'm creating Alright guys, so after a long, a very very long um, battle of searching, I finally found a, um, a font that I can use and the font is ironically called Premier League. So yeah, we are going to use um, that font, right? Premier League font. And um, yeah, let's just quickly set up our logo. Right. Make sure you save your work because curl draw can be very very funny. So yeah, the battle gang as you can see looks cool, looks okay. All right, so now the next thing is to apply our color and um, I think I'm going with this for the battle and for gang I'm going with this and for this I'm going with I think we'll stick with this as well then also this so the only contrasting color there is that of the battle all right so this is, um, you know what, uh, let's get a deeper version of this color. Yeah, something deeper. Exactly. So it's going to, yeah, exactly, something like that. So we are going to go with this as our logo design for this journey. And right, 
make it smaller slightly and so we have um, we have our logo and the next thing you want to do is the breakdown of the logo so you just duplicate the logo like so save your work and what the breakdown is you want to like tell them okay this is the word mark this is the icon and this is the color this is why i chose this this is why blah 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 like that so to do that let's stick with this so we're going to use uh, white for this and white for the exactly now what you want to then do is this remember i said our Yeah, so apologies for that. Um, my Canon camera, the battery is down, so we would have to stick with the HD webcam. And I know this, you know, camera can can be like a form of uh, stubbornness. So yeah, just bear with me. So like I said, the next on our the next on our um, list is the logo breakdown. And what we want to do is talk about the word mark, um, the color, and the icon. So yeah, let's just um, write out icon. And so we're just going to put it somewhere here. Then also, let me just duplicate this, reduce. That should be very very small. So what you're going to do is you're going to just talk about the icon um, how you came about the icon so the icon the icon is um, formed from two swords flashing into each other signifying a form of contest or battle then you can continue writing you know what <laughs> just to avoid um, long story we are just going to use lorem if so you know, the common um, the common was it called? Okay, yeah, we're just going to pick Lorem Ipsum, just something small like that, and use it to complete the rest. The idea is to give you a basic understanding of what you need to include. And so, when we are done with that, you can just get your pen to select your icon so let's close and hold down shift hold down shift like that so that it can pick the icon and you can also bring it down slightly then you're going to do the same for um, the color let's say we want to put the color somewhere here i want to reduce this just duplicate it here. So, yeah, I reduce this. I'm gonna call this color. Yep. Yeah. And lastly, it's what we call the word mark. And bring this up as well. So, depending on where you want to place it, it's just, I mean, for the fun of it right so we can just call this word mark and this is just like talking about the text you use the font and all that so as well take your pen to and you know yeah something like this and blah you are good to go and that's a basic logo um breakdown yeah a basic logo breakdown your wordmark your 
icon and your color so let's take away all this let's just leave the rem keeps on and you know when you are doing yours definitely take out time to fill in um i can definitely take out time to um fill in the what's it called the old notes and all you understand so that you know i personally would still take out time to fill in mine on the word mark uh, notes the color notes the icon notes and the rest so the next thing you want to then do is what we call um the logo in different color and in different form so this logo itself right the way i've created it i've created it in such a way that it can have different forms so i'm going to bring excuse me let me just create different box i'm going to create different box so let me just remove all this all right create different box okay this would be here system is shop the c control v we have another one here so this can be pure white color and this can be the dark color you know the dark shade color then we can have um c control v we can have another one here and this can be the other color and you know control c control v the last one can be this other color and so what we want to then do is this we are going to bring in the first let's properly place it I'm sure it is reduced you don't want it to look too big so this is the original logo right the battle gang the next thing is in what way can we also place this logo um so we're going to place it I, I drew in part of my sketch in one of my sketches as well i drew um another concept that can work so i'm going to quickly show you that concept like another form of the logo <laughs> okay, i'm looking at the camera this is where the camera is so another form of the logo so we have the battle here and we have the gang here then we have we have the sword or the yeah the sword I'm sure they are properly aligned this one is not properly aligned so you can make it bigger now you're not supposed to make it bigger like this because it's going to affect the others but because it's a fictional brand you're not really bothered by that but when you're doing your real brand identity please take notes every every inch count you understand and so we are going to um found this i saw this idea on instagram so i really loved it and you know i was like okay i have to do something like this so this is another form exactly something like this it's another form of the logo and then we can have let's duplicate we can have just this icon here you can make it big and make it white now what you can do here is this um there is i'm not so vast with uh, when it comes to like showing the processing or the lines that makes up your um your icon right and so it's most times this is where you include all those you can just show the lines that connect all those um, elements together to form this icon right but in this case i will just show you the icon in outline form right yeah this is what i'll just do just show the, out the icon in outline form and lastly 
we can we can look at another means by which this can be written so just control c control v let's look for another means by which this can be written and the other means is combining part two and bringing this here okay all right this is another means by which it can be written and so we have the battle gang the um the sword then you know different so uh, what's it called yeah then make sure you save your work then the next thing we are going for is what we call a brand pattern now this creating patterns from your logo can be very um, exciting it can also be very taxing if your logo is pretty complex now you can also include other things that have not been included in your brand pattern so for example let's just create a new page make sure it is um, white so what, what i want to do here is this i'm going to bring in this because i already sketched like i said i already sketched uh, my pattern as well so the concept i had was i'm going to introduce this and i'm also going to introduce this element look at this element here if you look at here, yeah, this element, so let me just bring this in. So we have X, O, X, no, triangle, circle, X, and box. I mean, every gamer understands <laughs> what this is. Each of them have different functions based on the game you are playing. If it is PES or FIFA, triangle is true for um, O is probably short. No, not short, like cross, X is to pass, um, um, square is to shoot. And also it depends on how you configure your stuff. So I, I love this concept and I sketched it out that I'm going to use this concept also to create to create um, my pattern. So first is the rectangle. I'm going to have my rectangle here. They are going to be flat shapes, just flat shape. So, rectangle, then we have our circle. Rectangle, then circle. I want to ensure that it's properly aligned. All right. Then we have square. Square. And last but not the least are X. There are various ways to create this, but um, I'll just stick to the simple method. Just draw like this and draw and um, duplicate that's Ctrl C, Ctrl V, then 90 degrees and blend you know merge it together or weld it together then 45 degrees like so then you can increase it now if you look at this one this one has 16 pixel in terms of the outline so we're going to do the same for everything 16 pixel and also we're going to stick with we're going to use let's use a different color right yeah, let's use a different color. So now we have this and we have this. So bye bye. All right. Now we are going to properly let's properly let's ensure that the spacing is for this rectangle for this. Um, let's ensure the spacing is cool. Yeah. All right. Control Q. All right. So we have this as a first set of elements or first set of pattern 
then what we then do is we are going to duplicate everything so we duplicate like so all right make sure that it is coming then we duplicate as well Or instead we can switch it yeah then we can then duplicate everything and yeah that's a simple pattern that I created from the concept of game and stuff so yeah this is one way you can create your um, pattern I mean there are, there are other ways to create patterns but because I do not really have so much icon going on and it's just a single um, you know like Wakanda forever kind of vibe I had to introduce other things and if this is too large for you you can also make it um, you can also make it um, what's it called smaller so for your brand pattern is also very important that when you have the um, white background version you also create the um, the dark version so we can just stick to white yeah we can just stick to white like so now the next thing we are almost getting to the final round because after this we we'll go straight to after this we we'll go to the color palette then typography so then we we'll, let's click do our color palette or palette All right. So as you can, as you can see, we have um, in our original design we have three colors. So we are going to be showing those three colors, and also normally you know white and black as usual. So as usual, we have the first color. One. two three then lastly we have a black and white because they are not so important so to say quote and unquote all right so the first one is this color right save your work the second one is this color the last is this color and this is our black this is our white now it's always like it's always cool to have um, like this place is not just plain so you want to like introduce like an image or something and because we are working with a particular um, we already have like a kind of vibe we are going with you can just bring in the image we use for our color palette or palette then you can just place it there so the like so you can show where the color is gotten from and after doing that you can then introduce um yeah you can introduce this color there on this logo i mean just there I think you're already feeling it. it's top. <laughs> I mean, it's it's um, it's a gaming brand, so it's thought to look very very classy and top. Now, the next thing you want to then do is um, for each color, you're going to write out the RGB, the um, CMYK, and the HEX code. And to do that, where's our write up? Uh, yeah, I'm too lazy to start typing, so I'm only bringing this in. So this is the first color and looking down here, you can see here you, you have the RGB and the HEX code. So you can just type it R242 G71 B89 and the reason why you are putting um, this full color code is so that when the client wants to probably 
print something or get a new designer and they have preference when it comes to color code the client is not stopped you can either use cmyk or rgb or the hex code and to get your rgb your rgb is 091640 type that 091640 right so yeah let's make this smaller let's use 24 and you can place it here change the color so that it is visible like so save your work now let's go to the next one bring it down copy here same with this choose the color and you can see the code here already so r is 116 g is 22 and b is 45 and the code is 741 62d and the cmyk is 337651 that's so i'm going to pause this video now and do um, the rest and come back all right so um i'm done with the color um, palettes the color code so as you can see we have each of them with their color code and it's easy for you to it's easy for your client to like send this to anyone and be like okay you know what i want to use this color for this printing and stuff like that so that's why this is very very important now the next thing you want to then do is your um what's it called your typography like talking about the typeface that was used and as usual, let's bring this in. I'm going to just put it here and just write typography. Now, for our typography, we remember our typography is Premier League, right? Premier League. So, I love, there's a way I do my typography that usually makes sense, right? So I can just write Premier League and that's the name of <clears throat> the typeface. I'm going to actually make this, this is darker. I'm going to make this black. Yeah, so I'm going to make this white. So Premier League and I'm going to make it very very big just like so i mean it's it's it looks ridiculous but i i just i love doing this like just tears at the client's face that hey this is a typography and this is the typeface i this is the typeface i used so yeah i'm just going to place that there and as usual i mean every typeface would always require you to have um, a b c and so on so i'm just going to click through that i just type in a b c d e f g h i g k u b w x y z and the small letter a b c e f g h i i L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. And lastly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you know, this and this, then we have. Yeah. So we're going to go to our fonts and just pick. And as you can see, some are not available so we just stick to the one that are available and just place them so whether small letter or capital letter 
you can see that it's the same right now in this situation when let's assume it's a real brand definitely you will need to have primary typeface or primary typography secondary typography and in that situation what you are telling the client is now your primary typography is the type like the fonts you use in creating your logo and stuff it's going to be used for probably digital campaigns and stuff but when it comes to internal communications and the likes like sending mails and stuff like that secondary typography is what you would use i've done that separately for some clients where the fonts used for their logo like was a unique font and so it can be used for the internal communications right so i i proposed the likes of like um abatica no Montserrat for the secondary typography so yeah you can also consider that now when you're done with this the next thing is your brand application and i know this is usually very exciting for a lot of persons because you know it has to do with your mock-ups and stuff and this is where photoshop comes to play so we're just going to write brand application now uh, for your brand application that is your your fonts um your mock-ups i learned you know um working with crafters have taught me to always ensure that my mock-up is as real as possible and so when you are choosing mock-up ensure that you choose a mock-up that looks very real realistic and so the client can easily resonate with what you are creating right excuse me and so for that we are going to there are several sites where you can download um mockups but before we download mockups let's list out the mockup we want to include into this um brand now like i said this brand is um a brand that is into gaming contests so the first thing you want to do is number one logo mockup a general logo mockup or a general sci-fi logo mockup and that that's to show that it is techy you understand you know it is a nerdy kind of stuff a geeky kind of stuff so a logo mockup that's one then the next um, mockup we are going to look for is a mockup of a studio so and the reason why we are using studio is so that we can give this vibe of contest like you know when people come together to either watch games being played or contests or you know battle and stuff like that so that's for studio then we would have mockup of a shirt a cap you know something like related to years we are not going to spend too much time on mockups because you know it can be very, very exhausting getting mockups online so we'll just do the best we can then we will definitely do um mock-up of a gadget a gaming either a gaming laptop or i'm not i'm noting it down so that when we start searching this we don't we like we're not into like try to crack our brain so a gaming laptop or a gadget and then we will need a mock-up for something generic yeah something generic right then lastly we are going to do uh, visual imagery that is images that we can use for our digital campaign and then we'll do one single campaign that has to do with um what's it called the tagline remember our tagline is fill the contest i mean we can even introduce that here since we are using um railway as our text we can just type in fill the contest and just choose railway as a so railway medium and you know bring it down here make it smaller and extend fill the contest i think it's too large Let's reduce it slightly. And so, yeah, we can have this like so. Fill the contest. Yeah, so we have that. So, for our brand application, let's jump straight into our logo design. So, let's type logo mock up 
gaming you have to be very very plain when you are searching for mockups so i'm going to be using um free pick for my first sets of mockups and you can see this this looks cool this looks cool we're not going to spend too much time on mockup search and stuff like that i mean we don't want to I would have just skipped this part, but I just need to show you where I get my mockups and stuff like that. Okay, let's take one look at something else, and you know, you would not see it. We'll just now look at look at this, look at this, look at this. This is dope. You already on like this gives the vibe of contest so definitely we are, we are choosing this so this is going to serve as a studio mock-up right and so let's tick studio mock-up button then shirts mock-up African shirt so we need some some shirts You know what instead of doing that why not just use photoshop to like get what we are looking for so let's assume we want this guy right and let's see if we can get somebody else that looks All right now let's just stick with this guy so for this guy right we'll just um download this image Now, courtesy of um, Crafter Studio, the, the studio gave me um, the premium version of the premium uh, logins to um, FreePick. So I'm able to like download both free and premium files, and I have access to the license. And it's sometimes very, like, not even sometimes, most times it's very important to like spend money on um, purchasing stuff like this because there are certain images you're looking for, but because um, you are not able to get them because most of them are not free so yeah we have shirts done <clears throat> laptop logo mock-up let's see if we can get something related to that <coughs> excuse me Let's just start gaming mockup. Let's see if we could get anything whatsoever. Now this is dope. This is dope. This is really really dope. I mean this is very nice. This is exactly what we are looking for. So Now, another place you can also get um, your files from, you can go to psfiles.com and all these links, I'm going to attach them to, um, to the tutorial video so you can um, you know, play around it. And like I said, Google is your friend. You can just type in free mockups and you are able to like, get mockups available um, at your tip, fingertip. So yep, yeah. let's just type game gaming um, mockups free, and you will see diverse um, diverse link to diverse um, mockups, and you can just select anyone. So what I'll just do is I'm going to allow. 
this field so that's i'm going to allow i'm going to download the mockups when i download it when i finish downloading it i'm going to like come back to this all right so guys um i'm back after several minutes of um surfing the internet for mockups and stuff so um yeah like I said, we are going to jump straight into the mockups and we are going to start with the basic. No, not the basic. We are going to start with um, the logo itself, just um, a logo mockup, right? So, this particular one. Um, one of the disadvantages of being in Nigeria is you have to face. Um, internet you know data issue and stuff like that okay i don't think i understand this all right so according to what we have here this seems to be i think you would have to like it's not like the usual mockups where um, you just how do I explain it automatically place your image or anything so anyways we are going to just drag in this image I mean most of us are conversant with how to edit mockups and stuff so I'm just placing this is going to be like a wallpaper on our wall you can see somewhere there and also on this um, wall here we're going to also place another wallpaper i think we need you know what let me just let's just use this as well or well, instead of just it being like this we can desaturate then Gaussian blur then bring in our logo which is on our desktop I already saved our logo and so yeah I'm just going to bring this in let's hope it turns out well okay looks okay to some extent looks okay to some extent and for the chair okay this, this is my first time using this kind of uh, mock-up but well, I guess we would have to find a way around it right I mean else we would not be able to use it I don't think I'm even enjoying this vibe, right? So I'm just going to close this down. This is not what we're looking for. So sorry, I have to like beat you because you're not giving me the vibe I wanted. Delete. Anyways, let's just go with another um, mock up. It's the same thing. Why are they giving me this kind of vibe? What, it's not what I asked for. It's not what I asked for at all. I 
think we'd have to let go of this as well. This is terrible. Anyways, let's start with the one we can find. Okay. Shirt design. Now, you see, this is very simple, like it's straightforward. I don't need to, um, it's just straightforward. So, just bring in <clears throat> the logo, just place it there. Some of this. And you're good to go. I mean, that's the kind of mock up I'm looking for. I'm not looking for uh, mock ups that have um, 3D, whatever. I mean, this looks very good, though, and this is just exactly what I'm looking for. And yeah, you can then save this. And like I said earlier, ensure that um, your mock-ups are very, very realistic. So something like this looks okay. Then you just getting um, a shirt hanging, and you know, doesn't look realistic. You have to ensure that someone is like putting it on and stuff like that. So first thing, first we're going to bring this in. So yeah, like so. So this is our first mock-up. We're saving it. Then we have to create another mock-up. Let's check for something else that we have. I think I'm saving a new mock-up. Let's hope this comes out well as well. And if it doesn't, delete. Delete. Uh, time to waste on this at all. So let's go to our premium. I have I think I have some of my logo here. Just going to check one that we can use and you know just walk check with that sorry excuse me no oh, this is not the one i'm looking for yeah let's use this Just use our hue and saturation and just reduce the just like this simple and straightforward. Yeah, something like this. can serve as um, you know like um, what do you call it signage or signage so we can save it as well and so yeah I mean as many more pop you can get that relates to your brand you just keep um, you know checking out for them and just adding them to your file to your presentation and you know just to ensure that your presentation con consists of realistic um, images so that the client can see uh, what you're talking about and stuff like that and so yeah basically that's um do i have one i'd like to like use and stuff like that Let 
let's do one that has laptop. Okay, for this, uh, I'll just bring in any image of my choice. So I'm going to bring in this image, the image of a wallpaper, right? And we're going to place it here. So it's going to be just like a laptop wallpaper. Then we're going to bring in the logo. Just place this here. And yeah, you can add a bit of filter to it. Let's um, rasterize. Add a bit of filter. Anyways, not spend too much time on this. I'm just going to straight forward. I'm just going to go straight to the points and just um yeah. So basically, that's the idea. Just um, get as much more pop as you can to represent um, the brand in different forms. And after doing that, the final thing. Sometimes most people don't include it. I also sometimes I do not include it. But if I want to make my presentation more detailed, I always add what we call visual imagery. That is, images that um, that the client should consider when you know working on digital campaigns and stuff. So yeah, I mean, one can easily do that. But lastly, I want to just quickly do one thing. That's quickly to. Just you know, use an image here and introduce the, the logo. We are almost done with the tutorial. I mean, like just doing one or two things, just so that you can. And yeah. This can stand like so, or you can bring it down here where it is darker. And the name of the um, the so we can just have fill the contest. And let's say we are um, in partnership with MTN because I I mean I I do not really like the network at the moment. It's, it's terrible but i mean i don't know any other network that is probably better than mtn at the moment i do not have 5g yet because it's not in my area it's not in my area so but yeah when it gets over to this area of lagos probably i'll get it anyways let's just assume um want to like write um Fill the contest for using MTN's um, yeah. So we're just going to make this. So the guy is really really feeling the contest. So let me just quickly get MTN logo PNG. I'm going to quickly download this open. Alright. Running up already. 
spent close to more than one hour 20 minutes or so if not more I'm already calculating the time for yeah. so So yeah, we have um, we have this here. So um, imagine we are having a contest and MTN is providing us with uh, you know the internet connection and stuff. And so yeah, it it makes sense. I I believe you know working together with MTN and stuff like that. And lastly, you can just do something on the icon itself. The icon, bring it in the middle here. I was able to get this image. I got it from a, an image. So I just removed this character. So you can just introduce this as well. Is the ads. Anyways, let's bring it into this. And bring it out like so. this would have been nice to have this cover too let's see if we can cover it you know what instead of doing that let's just go in properly edit to bitmap yeah um, reduce the opacity to reduce the opacity you can then yeah something like this Yeah. 
now when you're done you save your work as pdf and you're good to go so let's quickly do a recap first off your mood board then your brand summary then your logo design then your logo breakdown your logo in different colors and forms then we have the color part and the pattern the pattern in different color excuse me color dress misbehaving then we have um, the color palette then we have the typography then for brand application we have the shirts we have the image we have the wallpaper and we have this and lastly this and so i mean before you submit your presentation you can all, you can as well like do some basic um brief like design um some ad some campaigns you know, just come up with briefs that you can use in designing your ads and campaign for social media and stuff like that and also include that to your presentation and stuff like that so yeah this is basically the brand identity process that i go through when i'm creating my fictional brands and there's there are certain things that i i omitted and that's because it's a fictional brand and you know we are not really um we are not limited or we are not hooked by the the, um, the fact that we must um, you know follow a particular process and we're just you know like if you noticed in the tutorial you know we're just playing around you know just vibing around and stuff like that so for your fictional brand definitely you can do that but when it comes to like having a brief working with the clients definitely you have to be very, very professional you have to ensure that your dimensions are you know standardized like your logo should be highly professional highly um, detailed yeah so that's it so yeah i mean if uh, if you love this tutorial and this resonates with you and you feel this is something that you would definitely love to see more of although i mean this is going to be the, the next set of tutorials are going to be your photo manipulation video editing gaming if possible because i love games and you know um you know the metaverse and likes and so yeah if this is something you would always love to see and if my channel resonates with you you can give me a like you can comment you can also subscribe and share very very important please subscribe and share thank you very much and so um i'm going to see you next time